What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NFL Week 15, Monday Night Football. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. Okay guys, in this video, I'm gonna give you my top DFS picks for this Monday Night Football Showdown between the Green Bay Packers and the Los Angeles Rams. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, NFL week 15. Let's take a look at this Monday night football showdown between the Green Bay Packers and the LA Rams. So at the quarterback position, I like Aaron Rodgers from the Green Bay Packers. The Rams have a middle of the pack defense overall. They've been pretty good versus opposing quarterbacks, but Aaron Rodgers has averaged 15.4 fantasy points per game on the season. He's getting an average of 1.5 rush attempts per game. He's going to be about 58% owned, projected at 17.1 fantasy points here tonight. He's 10,800 DraftKings salary. Vegas thinks there's going to be 39.5 points scored in this game with the Packers favored by seven. So Aaron Rodgers has scored 14, 12, and 19 fantasy points in the last three games. He had three, one, and zero rush attempts in those games. So I like Aaron Rodgers here versus the LA Rams. So I like Aaron Rodgers because he's only $800 more than Baker Mayfield. Now Baker Mayfield did come in for his first game last week with the Rams, had a pretty good game considering he was only with the team for a matter of hours. Uh, but I think I trust Aaron, Aaron Rodgers quite a bit more. He knows the offense. I don't think Baker Mayfield's gonna be able to compete with Aaron Rodgers. So I like Aaron Rodgers here versus the LA Rams. Okay, let's take a look at the running back position. So I like Aaron Jones from the Green Bay Packers playing the LA Rams, who have a middle of the pack defense overall. They've been pretty good versus opposing running backs, but Aaron Jones has averaged 16.5 fantasy points per game on the season. He's getting an average of 12.6 rush attempts per game and 4.5 pass targets per game. He's gonna be about 65% owned, projected at 15.3 fantasy points here tonight. He's 11,200 DraftKings salary. Now Aaron Jones has scored 10, 19, and 14 fantasy points in the last three games off of 9, 12, and 12 rush attempts on top of 5, 4, and 7 pass targets. Now, although Aaron Jones probably does have the largest ceiling or the highest ceiling on the slate, he does feel a little bit overpriced here at 11,200 DraftKings salary. It looks like A.J. Dillon has been cutting into his workload quite a bit here. And in fact, A.J. Dillon last game scored 21 fantasy points off of 18 rush attempts and three pass targets. So that is a little bit concerning there. So I do like Aaron Jones. But if you want to pay down at running back, take a look at Cam Akers from the L.A. Rams. And the Green Bay Packers have a middle of the pack defense overall. And they give up the fourth most fantasy points to opposing running backs. Now Cam Akers has scored 10 and 19 fantasy points in the last two games. Off of 12 and 17 rush attempts on top of one pass target in each of those games. He's going to be about 32% owned. Projected at 9.1 fantasy points here tonight. He's 8,200 DraftKings salary. 
and Cam Akers. He's got a great matchup here tonight. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And we'll send you $25 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. His salary is reasonable. He, ha he does have 20 plus fantasy point upside if he can get 20 plus touches. So I like Cam Akers here versus the Green Bay Packers. Now, if you want to pay all the way down at running back, you could consider A.J. Dillon for the Packers for 6,200, who did get 18 rush attempts and three pass targets last game. Or you can consider Kyron Williams. Uh, he's going to be about 14% owned. Uh, Kyron Williams would be more of a sleeper pick. Only got three rush attempts and two pass targets last game. Uh, but it does look like he'll touch the ball at least a handful of times here. He's 5,800 DraftKings salary. But I guess for only 400 more at 6,200, I would go with A.J. Dillon, who very well could get 20-plus touches here tonight. A.J. AJ Dillon scored 21 and 18 fantasy points in the last two games off of 18 and 8 rush attempts on top of 3 and 4 pass targets. I do like A.J. Dillon quite a bit over Aaron Jones just because he's almost half the price and he got more rush attempts than did Aaron Jones last week. More touches altogether. He got 21 touches last week. Aaron Jones only 14 touches last week. So I do like A.J. Dillon quite a bit here versus the L.A. Rams. Okay, let's take a look at the wide receiver position. So I like Christian Watson from the Green Bay Packers playing the LA Rams, who have a middle of the pack defense overall. They're middle of the pack defending opposing wide receivers. Christian Watson has averaged 13.2 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 4.1 pass targets per game. But he's averaging six, fan, uh, six pass targets per game the last three games. And he's going to be about 48% owned. Projected at 12.8 fantasy points here tonight. He's 8,800 DraftKings salary. And Christian Watson has scored 24, 24, and 21 fantasy points in the last three games. Up of six, six, and six pass targets on top of one zero and one rush attempt. So I like Christian Watson here versus the LA Rams. Now I also like Alan Lazard from the Green Bay Packers and the Rams have a middle of the pack defense overall, middle of the pack versus opposing wide receivers. Alan Lazard has averaged 12.7 fantasy points per game on the season getting an average of 6.8 pass targets per game. He's been on the field for 90% of the snaps, going to be about 37% owned, projected at 11.8 fantasy points here tonight. He's 7,600 DraftKings salary, and Alan Lazard has scored 12, 4, and 11 fantasy points off of 6, 3, and 11 pass targets. So I like Alan Lazard, who's probably my favorite value play here on the slate here versus the LA Rams. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all the tools for NFL. NBA is right around the corner. This is a great time to get in and try everything for one month. The tools are all about saving research time. You can see the last three games, the fantasy points per game, the targets they got per game so you can see how involved they are in the offense, the rushes they got per game. Seeing all this stuff on one screen helps you save time and make better picks. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, 
just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, coming down in salary just a little bit more here, you have Van Jefferson from the LA Rams. The Green Bay Packers have a middle of the pack defense overall, been pretty good versus opposing wide receivers. Van Jefferson has averaged seven fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 3.9 pass targets per game. He's been on the field for 97% of the snaps, going to be about 30% owned, projected at 8.6 fantasy points here tonight. He's 6,800 DraftKings salary, and Van Jefferson has scored 12, 6, and 12 fantasy points off of 4, 4, and 7 pass targets. So I like Van Jefferson here versus the Green Bay Packers. Okay, now coming down in salary even more here, there's two other wide receivers that I would play. One of them is Ben Skronek from the LA Rams playing the Green Bay Packers. So Ben Skronek, he scored 16 fantasy points last game off of eight pass targets. He's been on the field for 83% of the snaps, gonna be about 27% owned. Projected at 8.6 fantasy points here tonight. He's only 5,200 DraftKings salary. So I like Ben Skralrenek here versus the Green Bay Packers. Now coming down in salary even more here, a guy who got nine pass targets last week and actually 14 pass targets in the past two games. Take a look at 2-2 Otwell for the LA Rams. And he scored 10, 9, and 4 fantasy points the last three games off of 9, 5, and 2 pass targets on top of 2 and 4 rush attempts in his last two games. So quite a lot of volume for this guy uh, the last two games. And he's going to be about 28% owned, projected at 8.2 fantasy points here tonight. He's only 4,400 DraftKings salary. So I think he makes a fantastic value play alongside Ben Skronek. So I like Tutu Atwell here versus the Green Bay Packers. Okay, moving on to the tight end position. Both the tight end ones are in play here tonight. So you got Tyler Higby from the LA Rams and the Green Bay Packers have a middle of the pack defense overall. Middle of the pack defending opposing tight ends. Tyler Higby has averaged 7.5 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 6.2 pass targets per game. He's been on the field for 86% of the snaps, going to be about 24% owned, projected at 7.6 fantasy points here tonight. He's 6,400 DraftKings salary. Tyler Higby has scored three and three fantasy points in the last two games off of three and five pass targets. So I do hope he can get at least a handful of targets here tonight. And I do think he's a pretty decent play, although he's had a bad couple of games. So I like Tyler Higby here versus the Green Bay Packers. And I also like Robert Tonyan from the Green Bay Packers. The Rams have a middle of the pack defense overall. Middle of the pack defending opposing tight ends. Robert Tunyon has averaged 6.8 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 4.3 pass targets per game. He's going to be about 22% owned, projected at 6.5 fantasy points here tonight. He's 5,400 DraftKings salary. Hasn't really had a good game in a while. Robert Tunyon has scored two five, and four fantasy points in the last three games off of two, three, and four pass targets. Uh, but I do think he can get four to five pass targets here tonight and find the end zone. So I like Robert Tonyan here versus the LA Rams. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com.
You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smiggity smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NFL slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.